So today we're going to start off standing up. Um, if for some reason you need to do this part sitting, just having the longest posture that you possibly can. If you have a wall handy, putting your back against the wall, your hip bones against the wall, um, the backs of your shoulders against the wall, your elbows and your hands against the wall here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to raise the hands up overhead, keeping everything back against that wall. Pausing at the top, squeezing yourself into that wall, coming down until you're sort of at the Y from the YMCA. Drawing everything back into the wall a little bit more. Real or imaginary walls are all good here. And then bring your hands back down so you're in a T position here drawing the backs of the hands into the wall a little bit more firmly. So if you're touching the wall, you're pressing into the wall. If you have an imaginary wall, then you're just drawing your hands back in space, coming back up for another one here. Why from the YMCA, I am drawing the backs of my hands, my elbows, my shoulders into that wall a little bit more firmly. Don't forget your lower back. That's got to stay glued onto the wall as well. So tucking your pelvis a little bit here, and then hands up high overhead. Drop your shoulders away from your ears just a little bit more and press the hands, the arms into the wall a little bit harder. Real or imaginary. Now keep everything glued onto that imaginary or real wall as you bring your arms all the way down here. Going slowly and mindfully. Keeping everything drawn back to open up through the front of the chest here. That exercise is designed to strengthen your body, the muscles that um, offer external rotation and keep you upright as you're at a desk or even standing um, doing repetitive tasks. That's why we did that one. From here, let's go ahead and reach the right arm up and the left arm down. So I'm really reaching, almost like there's something on a very high shelf, and I cannot get to it. With my right hand, I'm reaching, reaching, reaching up. And then with my left hand, I am reaching down, really exaggerated motion here. And then we'll switch sides. So I'm taking my left hand up to reach for that thing on the high shelf. You can see that there's a little tiny side bend happening here, right? My shoulders are not staying even. My left shoulder is elevating and my right hand is dropping down, reaching for the floor here. Taking one more moment to really exaggerate that reach. One more really deep inhale. And then come back down. From here, let's take a moment to take care of our shoulders and neck. So starting off just really gently. I'm going to rotate, so bringing my chin towards my left shoulder and then towards my right shoulder, going back and forth a few times. Seeing if I can settle into the stretch a little bit more as I go back and forth. So my first time of reaching my chin over my shoulder, I'm going maybe 75% of the way there. And then the next time, I come back over my left shoulder. I'm going maybe 80, 85% of the way there. And there, meaning the max, right? Your particular max, not necessarily over your shoulder, but just in that direction. Almost like we're oiling hinges here. And it might take a moment to fully lubricate these joints. Working in slowly. Same thing, but tipping the top of the head to one side. So left ear to left shoulder, 75% of the way there of whatever your max is. And then right ear to right shoulder, aiming for 75% again. If it feels good, take a little pause as your ear is close to your shoulder. You can go for that. Or if it feels better to just keep it moving, enjoy that as well. Listening to your body is really key in taking care of it. So always make a little bit of space to tune into what your body needs and what it's enjoying and what it's absolutely hating, because that's information. Beautiful. One last time on each side here. Excellent. 
And now let's just take a moment to do some head rolls. So starting with my left ear at the left shoulder, I'm going to roll my head all the way forward, tucking my chin in towards my chest, and then rolling it over to the right side. Using this as some time for some deep breaths as well. Inhaling as I roll towards the right. Exhaling as I roll towards the left. Beautiful. From here, let's bring our arms way out to the side, almost like I'm reaching for opposite walls. And then we'll do some eagle arms borrowed from yoga. I'm going to cross my right arm over my left arm. From there, I can either place hands on shoulders or pretzel up here. Hopefully you can see all right what is going on. From here, I will bring my elbows up a little bit higher, shoulders down a little bit lower, and draw my the back of my head back in space and take a really lovely deep breath here. Breathing changes the position of your rib cage a little bit. Um, obviously, there's some movement that happens as we breathe, and it can help us settle into the stretch. From here, let's reset and see if we can settle in a little bit deeper. Elbows up a little bit higher, shoulders down a little bit lower, ears push back a little bit further. And one more deep breath. Beautiful. Unpretzel, untwist whenever you're ready. Bring your arms straight out to the side and palms up. Reach the thumbs for the wall behind you to really open up completely through the front of your chest. If you would like to also reach your chin up towards the ceiling, that can feel lovely as well. From here, we're going to take the left arm and place it on top of the right. Hands either on shoulders up top here or pretzeling up with your arms and then resetting and settling into the pose, bringing your elbows up a little bit higher, shoulders down a little bit lower, and pressing your ears back a little bit further. Using the movement from your deep breath now to really settle into that stretch. Awesome. And elbows up a tiny bit higher, shoulders down a little bit lower, and ears press back. One more deep breath. And now uncurl everything. Give it a little shake out as long as it feels good. Wiggle through your shoulders. See if you can find anything particular to you that feels awesome right now. For me, that's going to be shoulder rolls, just drawing giant um, circles on my rib cage with the top of my shoulder here. Next up, we're going to place the hands on the back of the head here, and I'm going to close in through my body. So drawing my, the points of my elbows together in front of me and then open up through the front of my body, drawing my elbows back as far as I can. And when they're back, I'm gonna drop my shoulders. See if I can find that stretch a little bit more deeply in there. Elbows together. And elbows apart. Elbows together. Elbows apart and drop those shoulders a little bit more. It might be one millimeter, but you might feel a change in the stretch when you are able to drop them. Next, take your hands and place them on top of your head. From here, spread your feet so you've got a nice space, and we're going to tip over to one side. So again, we're staying with everything on the imaginary wall. So my back is on the wall, my shoulders are on the wall, and my elbows are on the imaginary wall here. If you can't stay on an actual wall and you have a wall to guide you, just stay as close as you can. It's a guide. 
So tipping over to the right here. Taking a really deep breath and imagining that deep breath opening up the space in between each and every one of your ribs. And on the exhale, coming back up to the center. And we'll tip over to the left now. Finding the spot that's right for you to reach the stretch, but not allowing the top elbow to tip forward, back, keeping everything in line on the wall. And then taking that really deep breath, expanding the space between the ribs. And coming back up to center when you're ready. From here, let's make use of a chair, a desk, or the floor. If you're on the floor, you'll be on hands and knees. From here, um, in my case, I'm using a chair because I'm at the office. Um, but what I'm going to do first is a little bit of a cat-cow kind of a position. So I'm arching through my back and inhaling. And then I'm going to round through my back, tucking my chin, tucking my pelvis. If I had a tail, it would be aimed right towards the ground. You'll notice that I'm not doing maximum around my upper back. That would look like this. But I'm trying to keep the rounding mostly through the parts of my spine that want to arch. So I'm giving them a little counter stretch from what they have to do all day. Going back and forth at your own pace as it feels good for your body. And when you're arching, don't need to have a maximum arch in my lower back and in my neck because they already do lots and lots of arching, but trying to bring a little bit of that arch into my upper back and mid back. Your upper back isn't actually capable of a full on arch, but if you get it to straighten out all the way, that's truly amazing. And one last cycle here. We're gonna stay in this hands and knees or feet on floor, hands on chair position for a little bit of a twist. I am going to keep my feet flat on the floor and my hip bones square to the floor underneath me and the wall in front of me. And at that time, I'm also going to be reaching up towards the ceiling with my left hand. So the hips don't move, but I get a lovely twist through my spine here. Reach only as far as it feels good for you. And if you like it better, we, if you go um, in and out of the stretch, that works too. That can actually be lovely and strengthening and stabilizing. And let's go ahead and do the other side. So from here, hip bones are square underneath me. And I'm reaching up towards the ceiling with my right hand. Don't forget to breathe here. Every time you inhale, you think about lengthening your spine. Every time you exhale, see if a little extra twist is an option. Or if you're going back and forth, inhale and lengthen, exhale and twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Beautiful. Go ahead and stand on up now. We are going to just do a couple of hip circles using my knee to draw the biggest circle I can around my hip joint. And let's do the other side, holding onto something for balance, or if you feel confident, you can let go of everything. Lovely. That's your movement break for the day. I hope everybody had a wonderful time and has a fantastic afternoon. Take care.